Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Novak. I hope your tanks are doing well. This whole video is on uh, cyanobacteria and algae. This is the tank which I've been showing since the very beginning of my videos. It's about five months old now. And it's doing very well. And this is the SCA aquarium with a sump and of course I use filter socks with the reverse flow canister filter Eheim and as you can see the Monte Carlo here has all grown in and is continued to grow very well and of course you got your dwarf baby tears that's doing well it's been eaten away a little bit by the uh, Placostomus but uh, otherwise uh, the tank is doing quite well I'm very pleased with it the substrate everything of course it uh, like all new tanks it takes at least 60 90 days or more for a tank to really break in and this one hitting the five month mark is all broken in but a lot of videos I've been watching on YouTube which is kind of sad people are showing videos of their tanks are full of cyanobacteria the tanks are full of string algae hair algae you name it and people are just constantly fighting algae and of course this is caused because of two reasons one they put the substrate on the bottom of their tanks they refuse to change uh, I've asked hobbyists well, why do you put your substrate at the bottom of the tanks basically it's just laziness they know it's wrong and they just don't want to put a plenum and this is going to cause problems with your hair algae and string algae and everything else Another thing is keep the tank clean. Here's one of these filter socks, and that's after one week. And I change them every week. And look at that, that's after one week. And I really like these filter socks because they seem to do the trick of making things more inconvenient. Only takes me a matter of minutes to unscrew the inlet pipe and to take the filter sock and exchange it for a new one. And of course I have my bio balls which was making a noxic filter because the the water runs very very slowly through there and that bacteria uh, has built up in there which is called facultative anaerobic bacteria and of course here's a picture of the filter sock how dirty it is after one week so I really like them it's uh, this is a planet tank planet tanks are dirty they're filthy but a lot of people I don't understand I do understand. They insist on taking their substrate. They insist on using sands. They insist on using mud. These substrates have been proven to be bad 20, 30, 40 years ago. And yet hobbyists are still using them. They're still doing the same repetitive mistakes as for year after year. And it's already been proven not to work. And they think they're going to come up with different results. And they're not. And then when somebody else follows their lead and they say, Oh, I can put the substrate right on the bottom. Oh, I can use mud. I can use sand. And then they start coming up with all these bacteria problems. And with cyanobacteria and algae problems. And it's like, there is a science to make it an aquarium. There is a science to it. And you don't have to be an aquatic microbiologist like myself to know the science because today the science has already been out there. Scientists have already brought it out to the hobbyists and told them what to do, how to do, why you do it. And it's like, well, people don't care. People are just going to do it their way, whether it's wrong or right, and they think they're going to come up with different results. And that's only because some people come up on YouTube or whatever and say oh I did this and I have a friend of a friend of a nephew of a cousin and they did it and it was successful well you know there's millions and millions of people in this hobby and you only represent one percent or less of those people in this hobby the rest of the people in this hobby are failing it's because it doesn't work for everybody now I set up this tank 
You don't see all kinds of hair algae, string algae. Yes, I use CO2, but I'm using three 150 watt LED light bulbs in here, which I explain how to use them instead of a Kessel light at a fraction of the cost. And look at how good this Monte Carlo is growing. I mean, it's grown like a banshee, and it filled in where there was a crack just a few weeks ago. So now since the tank's broken in, it's really, really grown good. So is this dwarf baby tear. And I bet you within a year, the bottom of this tank is going to be covered. Even some of my water lilies now are re-blooming and re-coming up with leaves. And the fish are great, have no disease problems, no problems of fish jumping out of this SCA aquarium. The lighting is excellent, as you can see how bright it is. Uh, I've had these uh, bamboo shrimp now for four, four or five months, maybe five months. They're still, and they're doing great. And as you see, the, the plants aren't covered full of algae. It's because of how I set up the aquarium, how I set it up with the plenum, how I took one of the sump compartments and made an anoxy filter out of it with those blue bio balls. And this is something that everybody can do. It's not rocket science, but it is science. So until next time, enjoy your fish tanks.